Today we're talking about the DJI Mic 2. Again, I made a video last week, or a couple days ago actually, about the DJI Mic 2 firmware update. And I got a comment asking, hey, how does the DJI Mic 2 sound when it's paired directly to your phone via Bluetooth or a receiver after the update? Does it sound better? Which one is better? Well, today I'm here to test that out. Something you should know when you're connecting directly to your phone via Bluetooth, you are unable to use the DJI Mic 2 with your standard photo camera app. Like if you go to hit the camera thing like you normally do with every other video, it's not gonna work. It does work with the Blackmagic camera app, which is in the app store, it's free. You can go in there and select it as your audio source, but just so you know, if you're plugging it in, only via Bluetooth, you have to use a, uh, a third-party app. So let's get into it, shall we? The first thing you're gonna need is the DJI Mic 2. I don't know if it works with the Mic 1, probably not. Who knows? I don't have it, I can't test it, I'm not gonna research it because that's not what this channel is about. You're gonna have your receiver or your transmitter and it's gonna be blinking green because it's in receiver mode. So that means it's set up to pair directly to your receiver, blah, 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 into your camera. So, what you're gonna need to do is hold down on this red button right here, which will be the record button for, if you're just gonna do 32-bit float on your own, you hold that down for three seconds, and when you do that, it switches it to Bluetooth mode. And then what you're gonna have to do is hold this button down, and then it's gonna start blinking, and then when that happens, you're gonna pull up your phone, probably the one up top. Probably not. Maybe it's a different one. Okay, so let's try the second one connected. Normally it would pop up down the bottom where it says other devices if you haven't already paired this together, so there's that. Alright, so now you're in the, the DJI Mic 2 camera app, and you can see that you got audio meters to the right side and also on the bottom, and when you touch on them, it'll bring up this thing that says iPhone microphone because that's the source that it's recording, and then you want to go to the settings, scroll down to audio source, and you're gonna select DJI Mic 2, and then when you go back to the camera, why is that not showing up now? Stupid. Oh my god. It was working two minutes ago. I don't know why that does that, but once you start recording, you can tap on it and you can see that the mic is recording. So now, what we're gonna do, this is already off to a bad start and I'm not liking connecting this thing via Bluetooth only, so. We're starting to become a little biased here. We're going to switch over to the camera now, or to the to iPhone, and we're going to see how this sounds just connected via Bluetooth. You also cannot record 32-bit float on this, on the just the microphone when you're doing it through Bluetooth. For whatever reason, it doesn't record 32-bit float because you can't obviously program it with either the, the receiver or the app if you were to connect it to like your Osmo Pocket 3, which I have, which is a great camera and you should buy one. Anyway, we're gonna switch over to the iPhone now and then give a little audio test. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are on the DJI Mic 2 just on Bluetooth. I did preview one of the um, the first clips that I uh, tried to um, record on here, just talking through it. And it kind of sounds like you're on the phone if that makes any sense. I don't know how it's gonna sound in the recording when I go to edit this, but this is where we're at right now. And this is the DJI Mic 2, just on Bluetooth. This is an audio test. How does it sound? How does it sound? How does it sound? One, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's not gonna sound great, but I can't be too sure until I go to the edit. So I guess we'll find out when we get there. So now what we're gonna do is connect to the phone via the receiver that comes with the mic 2 when you get it in the bundle. So we're gonna test that out right now. All right, and now we are on the DJI mic 2 after the update, same as the first clip, except now we're connected via the receiver that comes with the the microphone bundle pack. It comes with two receivers, or two transmitters. I get transmitters and receivers messed up all the time. Two transmitters, one receiver, and it comes with uh, the charging case for it, which inside has plugs for your cell phones, whether it be iPhone or Android via Lightning or USB 
C. How does this sound? I can probably tell you it's gonna sound good. I saw on the tracks, the two audio tracks, when you just have the uh, the, the phone hooked up to Bluetooth, it has, it seems like a, like a mono, a mono track, so it's not recording on two tracks, it's recording on one. I don't know if that's gonna be left or right or if it's gonna be right in the middle, but you get one track. And on this I saw it had both both audio tracks are lit up, so it's recording it in stereo. It might be like a mono track, but recorded on both tracks, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, how does this sound? Testing, testing, microphone testing. I'm also still recording it in the Blackmagic camera app because I wanted to, you know, record it from the same source, just changing the audio sources. So this will work with your, um, with your regular camera app. You're not going to have to download a third-party app to do so. So you can use it. It plugs right in. It connects right away. Your iPhone recognizes it. How does it sound? Let's wrap this puppy up, dude. All right, so we're back on the Osmo Pocket 3 now, and we're back to some good sound and audio. I didn't think it was gonna be that different, but even just previewing it on my phone, I can tell you that just Bluetooth is not good enough. It sounds like you're on like a Bluetooth headset, like you're making a phone call. It sounds kind of weird. You don't have any of the, the features that you have when you have the receiver or when you're connected directly to like the Osmo Pocket or the Osmo Action 4. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. So if I had to recommend one, I'd say 100% get the receiver too because she don't sound that good, dude. Anyway, short video for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're gaining some, gaining some followers, man. I appreciate that. We're up to like 125 subscribers. That's awesome. It's huge. Thanks for the comment. Inspired this video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something. Stay safe, keep shooting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Did, oh, God.